Hey everyone, Ace here. So this video is gonna be a quick one, but I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about this since this is a another kind of big project that I had that I thought was kind of fun to make. So recently I had a video come out that was the custom frames for the pictures that I got at Fan Expo. And so I kind of wanted to go through the process for how I designed these because I thought it was a phenomenal demonstration of the main core reason why 3D printing was invented and that was rapid prototyping. So the first thing that I did is, and what you would do for rapid prototyping would be, I just came up with numbers in my head and tried them out to see how they would work. I had this idea where I wanted to make an L-shaped profile here so that the picture could sit here but then we had this cardboard backing to hold the picture in place and it would be a little bit bigger that way the picture wouldn't fall through so this is the first prototype as you can see i call it like the squashed l because it's that l-shaped profile but it's squashed i ended up scrapping this well moving on from this part because I didn't like this. I wanted it to stretch out. And also, in order to reinforce the joints between these pieces, right here you can see, I was worried that these would snap way too easily if you like moved the frame around and I wanted something to reinforce it. I also wanted something so that you could line them up because if you don't line them up, they could be like this. They could, this is overestimating it to, sh to show my point, but it could be like this, this, this. I wanted something that would line it up so that it, you got the exact profile that you needed every time. So you can see here, I had that shape and it looks kind of squashed compared to the final prototype. You can see that this one is a lot uh, taller and skinnier than this one is. It actually has the same thickness here but it's stretched out more. This allows for um, more strength in the final piece. And it ended up printing better too by doing this. I knew that this piece I was going to end up scrapping because I didn't like that L-shaped um, profile, but I could test this angle here where the corners interact. And as you can see, corners interacted perfectly, exactly the way that I wanted to. There's just a tiny little gap from the inconsistencies between the layering, but that will, uh, I knew would be buffed out when I hot glued it, which is what you see here in the final. So the main advantage and difference between this prototype and the first prototype is that I included the addition of these like lock and piece mechanisms so that you can have the frame be stronger because now this joint is holding together on all of these rather than just the glue in between these two pieces here. I really like these and I think that the frame turned out pretty strong. This is just hot glue, which makes this fantastically easy to put together, but also it makes it a little bit easier to work with because I like working with hot glue over super glue because oftentimes super glue can get like Kind of dangerous to work with. So this is the final prototype. Um, it only took two revisions to really get e everything I wanted as I described earlier. So I'm going to go through and show off the frame itself and then the back plate and talk a little bit about the back cardboard piece. So first off I want to say that um, the piece that I put in works pretty well to keep this joint relatively strong. I've got that clip right there that keeps the corners intact, which is really nice. And then this one also keeps, keeps the just straight pieces. The main reason that I printed this whole thing and put it together was to make sure that I got the sizing right so that when I put the cardboard backing on here, you can see it aligns pretty decently. Um, these are cut by hand, so they're not gonna be perfect, but they don't need to be super great to you know, they don't need to be professional quality for what I'm using them for, and I'm very happy with them. The coolest part about this, as an environmental engineer, I always have to have something environmental about what I'm doing. But these pieces are actually from the boxes for IKEA furniture that we had, and so I was able to repurpose that cardboard to be the backing for these frames, so I felt like I was utilizing something that was gonna go to the trash, so I felt really nice about that. Um, these pieces, uh, I will put a just a sizing chart for these on 
the printables when you download, but there's no need to like have like a template or anything like that. It's just a, a regular rectangle. And then I cut this by hand that you can see how poor the, the cut is there. Um, doesn't need to be anything too complicated. And then for the parts list, you need four corners and then you need um, two in the middle and four in the body of it for the regular connectors. So that would be six in total for each of those. Um, technically, you can just print one eat one of each of these sides and mirror them, but the files that I'll include in printables actually are just organized by um, top, bottom, left, and right. So you can just print one of each of those and that way you know you have all of the parts of the right thing. You don't have to mess with like mirroring the pieces. So it should turn out really well. And then in order to put these on the wall, you use a command strip on one of the, I would recommend the top. So if you're hanging this up like this, you would put the command strip right here. And then I put duct tape on all the other sides to keep them in place. Um, technically, if it's on the wall, it doesn't need any of that, but I just let, wanted that so that it didn't like slip because it would uh, only be hinged from one point so that it would come open like that. That is how I designed these custom frames for art that I got. I just wanted to make a cheap alternative so that I didn't have to feel pressured that I want to only put up the art that I really love. I just wanted to put up all of my art, so I wanted a good frame. Also, it lets me customize the frames because I have so many different types of film and colors compared to how many types of frame colors there are at something like Michael's, for instance. I'm very excited to show these off and I want to do more fun like and useful 3D prints in the future. And so I'm hoping that this video serves as like the first of many that I do. This is a great way for me to start doing rapid prototyping. And I think 3D printing is a great avenue for that. The material isn't very expensive. And especially with how fast 3D printers are now, each of these, each prototype took like a few um, hours to finish. And I mean like all the pieces together as well as modeling it. So I was able to do this whole project in like a day and a half, which was awesome. Um, on my previous printers that didn't print as fast, it probably would have taken me a little bit longer. It was a super cool project. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a make on printables or a comment here on YouTube to let me know any questions, comments, concerns about the project. I'd love to hear them, but I'm gonna move over to the final look to show you all of the final pictures and their corresponding frames. So thank you very much for watching.